Hey, YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing very well. I hope that your family is healthy and happy and that things are looking up in your home, in your world. I really do. I'm not going to keep you, but just for a few minutes, as I've got bread that's ready to go in the oven. I wanted to get on here today and share a troubling, something that is troubling me so bad. I don't carry trouble very well. I always address the things that disturb me or that rock my world. And ironically, YouTube is part of my world. It's part of who Ray is today. Wasn't years ago, but it is today. What I have found YouTube to be is something that helps me to share the love that I have inside for everybody, for the whole world. And with that love, I even have the opportunity to share jelly beans and hugs. I certainly do. And all of that is who Ray is. You know, friends, here in the YouTube community, we have such a diverse combination of people, personalities, lifestyles, core beliefs. It's very, very unique. Like I've said before, it's like that fine stew where you just start adding ingredients and you add all the ingredients and before you know it, you've got a stew that is so divine. Well, that's the way I see it. You all know me. I share love and hugs with everybody. And just so you know, even though this is a cyber community, the love and hugs are very real. Oh, yes, they are. Absolutely real. I love all people. But what's troubling me is the behavior of many, the backbiting, the arguing, the slandering, the judging, turning on each other. For what? For why? You know, friends and family, I've said in many videos, to compare ourselves to or to not really compare ourselves to but to look at our lives as a great orchard. In this orchard there's 7.4 billion trees. Each tree unique. There's no two trees alike. Not at all. Each tree is very unique. Leaning up against the tree is a ladder. The ladder has rungs. We take a step up. We tend to our tree. Take another step up, tend to our tree, trying to perfect it in whatever way we believe, our core belief that our tree should be. We work at that. Sometimes we get it right, sometimes we get it wrong. When we're getting it right, we go up the rungs, up the rungs, shooting for that goal. When we get it wrong or we make a mistake, perhaps a bad choice, perhaps being led by the wrong person, 
another reason I never did like follow the leader. Not a game I played. <sighs> we have to step down the ladder. We've made a mistake. We have to go back. We have to fix it. We have to change it. So in life, we're up and down that ladder many times. We might go up two rungs and down three. We might go up one rung and down two. We might go up and up and up and then step back down one. Whatever the case may be, none of us are perfect. None of us. That's why we're here. We're all working on it. We look over and we see other people on their ladders. And all too often it's too easy to judge, discriminate, pick on, scrutinize. It's not our job. What we are supposed to do is help stable the ladder for the other person so that they might groom their tree and have the same beauty that we're working on. That's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to pick on each other. All this backbiting and slandering and using this fine technology to do it, either in videos, comments, replies, Skype, Hangouts, Telephone, whatever source we're using, when we use that to slander another person or hurt another person, what we don't see is we're stepping down our own ladder. There's new people to our YouTube community. All of a sudden their faces are there and they're promoting, you know, the same thing we are, or so it would seem. These people claim to have been around. Maybe they have been, but we've never seen them. And all of a sudden we have distension, squabbling, backbiting, assuming, slandering, hurting one another. Why is that? How can that be? If our love for one another is really true, and if we care for one another like we say we do, if we've worked together so well so long, how can this be? That they're shaking our ladder. That they're hurting our community. Why is it that we're allowing this? I've had people deliberately communicate with me through this networking just to tell me about somebody else and how terrible they are or how ill they are or unbalanced they are. I don't want to hear that. I'm no better than anybody else. And if these people have a problem, shouldn't we be holding their ladder for them rather than shaking it, hoping they'll fall, trying to destroy them? Friends and family, we have so many important things to focus on. We need to support one another with genuine love. You know, when my daddy left this earth, he carried with him nothing but an invisible suitcase that was jam-packed full of love. That's all you take with you is love. That's it. 
So while you're on your ladders, I would ask one thing, that you consider these words that I've shared with you. You have the choice to go up the ladder or down. You can stable the other person's ladder or you can rock it. And for those of you that attacked me and accused me of, of flirting and all these jealous insinuations, shame on you. Shame on you. Because I give to you the same love and the same hugs. That's not who I am or what I'm about. I am part of the earth. I'm part of the air you breathe. The sky you see. The real clouds. I'm part of the universe that's so vast. And my energy I share with you through genuine love and real hugs and jelly beans too when I have them. We don't have time to be mean to one another. It doesn't take meanness to be a great warrior. When you slander other people and you jump together like a pack of wolves tearing at the hide and the meat of the innocent lamb. How does that better you? So friends and family, if you have something nasty to say, or you want to bite the back of somebody I love, which is everybody, please don't do it. Don't make me question who you are or what your values are. Because when I look at you, I see beauty. I see love. I see somebody on a ladder working just as hard as I do to try and get to the goal that we're all seeking. That world of peace and love and harmony. That place of no wars not in my name, that place of bonding and caring and nurturing and feeding and free energy. That place that in our minds so often we call heaven on earth. Because it could be. I'm part of Mother Earth. I don't need the poisons no more than does she. Do you? So please, if you persist in being foul and nasty, I will block you because quite frankly, I'm afraid to fall. I fell down a flight of stairs. I don't want to fall off my ladder too. I love you all with all my heart. Some of you are so, so special. Actually, all of you are. All of you. There's just some that I'm so attached to. And you know who you are. Perhaps we've climbed these ladders before. Who knows? But whatever it is, whatever it is, remember, the other person needs their ladder stabled. So help hold it. Don't rock it. Their tree is just as important as yours. And this great big orchard filled with 7.4 billion trees is our orchard. I love you all so much. I truly, sincerely do. And yes, 
For those of you with jealous hearts or angry hearts or bitter tongues or the backbiters, you too I love. Great big hugs. And maybe next time I'll have jelly beans. And we will talk about the power of prayer. Because boy, have I got proof for you. I certainly do. It is what you speak. I can prove it. So I'll catch you soon. Perhaps later today. Right now I've got bread to put in the oven. Yes, I make homemade bread too. Love you bunches. Catch you guys later.